Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to McAdies Entertainment. I'm your host as always, Adam McGahey. Got another cannibal quickie for you guys today, as we continue the ongoing saga of the Marvel Zombies line of comics. In our last video, we went over the full gory story of the bicep munching former beauty herself, Zombie Black Cat. I will have that video linked in the title card and in the description below. In today's video, we'll be exploring the brief tale of our multi-armed esophagus slurping fiend himself, Zombie Dr. Octopus. No, not even our boy Otto Octavius was smart enough to evade the deadly virus that turned him and his colleagues into brain-eating undead. His tale is sadly quite short, but without further ado, be like Peter Parker and grab some pizzas, sit back, relax, and enjoy the full gory story of Zombie Dr. Octopus. Who is he? Zombie Otto Octavius like most of the other villains and heroes of this dimension, was infected with a strange illness from another world that turned them into ravenous but still self-aware hungry zombies. He made his first appearance in the pages of Marvel Zombies issue 4 back in 2006. He comes from Earth 2149, but his origins pre-infection were very similar to his main universe counterpart from Earth 616. Otto's fedora hat wearing bank robbing days would sadly come to an end though one fateful day when a zombified version of Marvel's Superman the Sentry found his way to the planet. Upon waking up from the jumbo sized crater he made after crash landing, the hungry blondie rocketed through the Avengers who responded to the scene, infecting them with a the virus. The plague was so powerful that it fully turned our heroes within seconds who then set their hungry new eyes on the terrified New York citizens nearby. Like Black Cat, who we covered before, one of the first to sadly be infected was none other than Dr. Octopus. The newly cannibalized Zombie Oc then joined the Avengers in the city streets, where he helped himself to the tasty civilian meat. Honestly, Zombie Doc Oc may be the scariest zombie we've covered. Dude's arms are basically giant stretchy forks, and they can and will get you at any time. As the virus spread, Nick Fury gathered the non-infected heroes he could find aboard the SHIELD helicarrier. He tasked the brilliant minds of Tony Stark and Reed Richards to find a cure and a way off this world while the rest were sent to battle the hordes below and rescue any survivors. It is during this battle that we see poor Doc Ock getting tossed like a ragdoll by Magneto. But, hey man, you tried. It's not much those giant metal arms can do against the guy who kind of controls metal. The power of the growing infected horde though would prove to be too much and the remaining heroes were either infected or killed. The virus would eventually become a global pandemic, leaving the vast majority of the world's population super-powered zombie chow. Thinking they had run fresh out of snacks, the horde are soon met by the Silver Surfer who announced the arrival of his master Galactus. The voracious vermin then attacked the poor man, who, despite putting up a great fight, was quickly overrun and consumed. Those who got a taste realized they absorbed the surfer's powers, which they then used to toast their fellow friends, crispier than a Sam's rotisserie chicken, who they proceeded to eat. After gobbling up their buds, the super zombies are then met by the world conqueror Galactus, who was rightfully mad at the group for eating up his shiny right-hand man. Seeing the biggest food haul of their lives, the group tried to attack the thick boy, but it proved ineffective as he decimated the ground below with his cosmic power. The boys, not wanting to get turned into a nice can of zombie jam, then played things safe and retreated back to Giant Man's lab, where they constructed a cannon that would allow them to combine their new powers into one concentrated beam. Upon completion of the weapon to surpass Metal Gear, the boys wheeled the big gun outside, only to see Zombie Doc Ock and several other villains trying their best to take Galactus down. Honestly, I don't know what's cuter. Zombie Green Goblin trying to take Galactus down with a pumpkin bomb, or Doc Ock trying to do something with those little robot arms of his. Love the tenacity, guys. It's almost inspiring. Taking advantage of this distraction, the Super Zombies prepped the cannon, aimed it at Galactus and fired, which sent a huge blue sky beam at the man, striking him right in the shoulder. 
It's also worth noting, Dr. Octopus just happened to be right in the way of this blast, which resulted in him getting his entire right arm and half his head blown right off his zombie body. The attack was super effective, and it sent Galactus tumbling to the Earth, who nearly crushed poor Otto in the process. Today is just not his day, is it? Upon seeing the big man defeated, a group of villains went in to claim their grub, only to be immediately halted by the cosmic zombies, who asserted their alpha status, declaring that Galactus was theirs, and theirs alone to eat. This then resulted in Zombie Otto and his boys going to full-on war with Zombie Spider-Man and his fellow super-powered lads. While the villains fought hard, they were sadly outclassed and outmatched by the Cosmic Avengers, who blasted the men to pieces. The last we see of Ock is as Zombie Wolverine cuts the scientist and his poor arms to bite-sized pieces. However, this would not exactly be the last time that we see our boy Zombie Doc Ock. Well, sort of. This one, absolutely dead. Eventually, after years of pillaging the galaxy of its inhabitants, the Cosmic Avengers would eventually be cured of their hunger and would try their best to fix the society that they had destroyed. However, they soon found themselves teleported to another world called Earth-Z, which was a dimension very similar to theirs before the infection broke out. Being sent to this world's New York, Zombie Spider-Man tried to turn over a new leaf and wanted to regain his life as a hero. He discovered the location of a mystical tablet that may just be able to reverse his undead condition. As he makes his way to the museum containing the artifact, he then discovers it being attacked by this world's Dr. Octopus and Sinister Six, who are also after the magical tablet. After confronting the gang, Spidey quickly realizes that this dimensional travel had altered his cells which caused his hellish hunger to return as he then lashed out, biting out Craven's neck, and gobbled down poor Mysterio's brains like they were pink Laffy Taffy. Octavius then went in to avenge his fallen comrades, only for Spider-Man to grab his mechanical arms, which he then plunged into Electro's heart, which then sent deadly waves of electricity through the limbs, cooking poor Otto to a crisp. Uh, fried squid anyone? Spidey then leapt on the horrified villain and ripped his stomach open, gobbling up his innards, only for him to insult the man, claiming that it was mostly fat, and that Otto should have hit the gym before he died. Eventually coming to his senses, Spider-Man went to go find the tablet, only to see that he had not completely finished off the Sinister Six, who too had transformed into zombies. We then see that the Zombie Six had killed all his closest friends even resulting in Dr. Octopus biting the head off this world's Mary Jane. Infuriated, Spider-Man leapt at Ock and the rest and completely tore them to shreds, leaving the Sinister Six an eviscerated mess of blood, guts, and heads all over the New York City streets. And that is the full gory story of Zombie Dr. Octopus. This honestly has to be one of the most disgusting gory stories that we have covered, especially once Marvel Zombies Return comes into play, and I absolutely love it. While he's definitely more of a background character, I'm so glad we got to see Zombie Dr. Octopus make an appearance in this gruesome universe. Alfred Molina's portrayal of the iconic character did make his grand return in Spider-Man No Way Home, so I wonder if there is a chance that we'll get to see him make an appearance in a future season of the Marvel Zombies TV show. As much as I would love this, I would hate to see this beautiful, beautiful man eaten by zombie Spider-Man. But, okay guys, how about we vote no on Doc Ock so we don't have to go through that pain? More than anything though, I want to hear what you think. Did you know this about zombie Dr. Octopus? Was there something I missed? What other stories would you like to see us cover? Sound off in the comments. Also be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed today's content, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the music in this video, it was all made by my boy Agnes. You can check out his Spotify in the link below. You can also check out our Patreon also in the link below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember you are awesome and loved. God bless, and I will see you in the next one.